Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to discuss one more Java interview question and that is the difference between encapsulation and abstraction. Now as we know that both encapsulation and abstraction are OOPS feature but there is a big difference between the two that we are going to see in this tutorial. Now let us first see what is encapsulation. Encapsulation basically can be defined as wrapping of code and data together into a single unit. Now when we talk about a capsule which is the collection of different types of medicines which are wrapped in a single unit capsule. Similarly when we talk about programming what we can do we can bind together related methods and related data items in single unit and that is known as class. So class is an example of encapsulation. Now how we can achieve encapsulation? Encapsulation can be achieved by keeping the data members hidden from the external world. That is here we can declare our data members are as private so that they are not accessible to the outside code. These private variables be accessible to the methods of the class only and if it is to be accessed by outside code then it can be done using the mutators and accessors which are public so they are accessible outside the class. Let's take an example. Suppose if we are creating class student with two data members role number and name we will declare these data members as private so that they are not accessible outside this class. So what we have done to make these accessible outside the class we have given here getters and setters which are often known as mutators and accessors. So let's suppose if we have a class test which wants to access this student class it cannot access directly this roll number and name field since they are private inside the student class. So how this can be achieved in class test? If this class test has to access these data members it can be done by calling these getters and setters over there. So what we have done, we have created an instance of student class and then we are calling the setters to set roll number and name and then we are calling these get getters to get the value of roll number and name. So this is how we can hide the data from other outside code by keeping it private and then giving the getters and setters to make it accessible here. Now let us see what is abstraction. Abstraction basically means hiding internal details and showing only the functionality. Now let's take an example of an ATM machine. When we are using an ATM machine, what we do, we just follow the instructions given by the GUI. We do not know the technology working at the backside of it. We do not know what what uh, database is getting used, what is the language which has been used to develop this application and so on. Simply we are using ATM by following the instructions over there. Similarly, when we send an SMS through mobile, we type the message and just send it irrespective of what technology is working at the backend over there. So when we talk about a programming language, how we can achieve abstraction over there? Now here, what is to be done if whenever your outside code ha has to access one of the members member functions of your class it can be done by providing those functionalities as public now this outside code simply knows that there is some functionality which performs a specific task so it will just invoke that functionality without having the knowledge of the internal details that is how it is working what is the job that is doing inside the code over there so that is how we can go for abstraction Let's take an example. Suppose if we have a class tri triangle with two data members, base and height, and then we have the getters and setters for it. And there is one area method which computes the area for the triangle. Now this test class has to use this triangle class. Now as we know that this base and height is private, so it cannot be accessed directly over here. We are doing that using the setters over there we are setting the values over there now 
this test class has to use the functionality area which has been given in triangle class. So what it can do, it can simply call this area method without having the knowledge of implementation details. That is without knowing how the area is getting computed over there. So here in this example, we are achieving both encapsulation as well as abstraction. We have kept our data members private and we are accessing them using this getters and setters in this outside code. Similarly, this outside code is calling this t dot area without having the knowledge of implementation detail, which is an example of abstraction. Now, sometimes the term abstraction is used in another context as well, which says that abstraction allows you to give only the method signature or method declaration and you need not to give the definition such thing can be achieved in java using abstract method a method where we give only the declaration and not the body that is known as abstract method in java and this abstract method can be given using one of the two ways either using abstract class or using interface now in that case the subsequent classes provide the implementation of this abstract method for more details on abstract classes and interface you can refer to my abstraction tutorials so basically in brief what we can say that encapsulation aims at hiding the data whereas abstraction aims at hiding the implementation details i hope now the difference between abstraction and encapsulation is clear to you Thank you for watching this tutorial.